Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am back with another Inktober video. I feel like I start this off in every single Inktober video, but I really don't know how to start these videos off anymore. So today's word from Jake Parker's prompt list for Inktober was graceful. Now, when I was thinking of graceful, of course, I thought of a dancer, and Leap was a new movie that came out this year that it was a French film, a French animated film, and then they went and they grabbed some American actors and actresses and went ahead and dubbed over the French film for an English version so all of us Americans could watch it. So I loved Leap so much. I thought it was such a touching story. I went with two of my best friends, Tori and Wes, to go see it. And it was super, super cute. I loved it. Um, I, I thought it it inspired me. I, I want to be a dancer, but I can't. I have two left feet. I cannot dance. I have tried. In all my years of musical theater, dancing was by far not one of my strong suits at all. Nope, not at all. Um, <laughs> I was actually standing in my art class the other day, and they were, um, all my kids that are involved with theater, they were all trying to compare themselves on who was the worst dancer. And they were all, like, picking somebody out and saying, oh, you're the worst, no, you're the worst. And then I go, no, no, none of y'all seen me dance, so guess what? I'm the worst. I'm taking the title of the worst dancer in the room, so stop picking on each other. <laughs> So I want to talk to you today what I'm using. This is one of my favorite techniques when it comes to me doodling in my sketchbook just normal. Now, what I'm doing is I doodled out the sketch with a color erase pencil by Prismacolor and then I went in and I colored it only using warm gray Copic markers. I love using warm gray and it doesn't have to be Copic markers, it can be Prismacolor alcohol based markers, just alcohol based markers, that's all. I love shading with my warm grays and if you've seen me on Instagram, when I post doodles like this or stills from the movies, I like to just use my warm grays to color it in. I use uh, W1, W3, W5, W7. That's it. They're four markers, and I have to say that they are by far the best set to start off with with Copic markers because one, it starts to teach you a little bit about shading. And when people ask me what are the best Copic markers to start off with, I say get your cool grays and your warm grays um, because cool grays have more of a bluish tint to them. And when I mean bluish, it's like a blackish tint, not neutrals, but cool grays and warm grays. And you can go to Michaels and Hobby Lobby and pick out those individual four markers alone. So even if this is W1s, I mean W1, W3, W5, and W7, I would say pick out those four and the cool grays, which is C1, C3, C5, and C7. Those are my ultimate favorite Copic markers to doodle with and to shade with just because it gives you a different look to concept sketching and it looks a lot like concept art. I mean, the way that it pushes around and then the color race pencils accents the warm gray so nice. Like you can see I used the purple color race on this doodle and then I added the warm grays. Oh, it is such, it is so beautiful to use the warm grays on your pieces, whether you're doodling and it gives you a little bit of practice when it comes to shading with alcohol based markers. But I would say definitely go for that. And this counts as Inktober because I'm using all ink art supplies except my sketching tools, which is my color race pencil. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't seen Leap yet, make sure you check that out as soon as it's released on DVD, and I will see you all later. Bye!